Okay, church, so as we move along in this in Nehemiah chapter 4, you know that any time a move of God starts, there's always opposition, right? Now, we did speak a little bit about that the other day as well, but I want to touch on a different part as we listen to what God's Word says to us here in chapter 4, verse 1, reading on down a few verses here. Listen, Sanballat was very angry when he learned that we were rebuilding the wall. He flew into a rage and mocked the Jews, saying in front of his friends and Sumerian army officers, what does this bunch of poor, feeble Jews think they're doing? Do they think they can build the wall in a single day by just offering a few sacrifices? Do they actually think they can make something of stones from a rubbish heap and charred ones at that? Tobiah the Ammonite, who was standing beside him, remarked, that stone wall would collapse if even a fox walked along the top of it. Okay, so here's the thing. We're going to read another statement here after this, but I just want to pause for a second because as we progress forward and are making changes in our life and things are beginning to move forward as God has called us individually and as a church, etc., to move forward, there will always be the voice of the enemy saying, yeah, you're still the same old, same old. Nothing's changing. You can't accomplish anything. You'll never be worth anything. You're never going to amount to anything. You can't do it. No, we have to reject those voices of the enemy trying to discourage us and being what God's asked us to be and doing what God's asked us to do. So let's hear Nia's, Maya's response to this as we look the very next verse in verse four. Now remember, he said they saw them on the wall doing this. I mean, on the out there side of the wall, beside the wall, I'll get it out right. <laughs> and he, they heard them speak these words. And this is what we read the very next statement. Then I prayed. <laughs> hear us, our God, for we are being mocked. All right, so. That's the first sentence of his prayer, and it goes on. It's a beautiful prayer of asking God to take care of the problem. But I just want our response to be with the challenges that come our way that try and make us feel like we can't accomplish what God's asked us to accomplish, that our prayers would come immediately to God and allow him to deal with the mockers, the scoffers, and the negative words that come our way. Let's do that, church. Let's be his praying, believing church. God bless you.